Hey everyone, I have a quick video on how I get my big curly hair. First I start off with Paul Mitchell's Clarifying Shampoo. It's the Shampoo 3. I work that through my hair. I focus mainly on my scalp because I have a very oily scalp and I tend to get product buildup. And I also focus it on my ends because I use a lot of product and I notice that if I don't really shampoo my hair very well, then my hair doesn't really curl up and get as big and fluffy as it usually does. So I just work that through and I tend to let it sit for like a minute. I don't mind shampoo. I know some people don't use it, especially naturals, but shampoo works for me. I have an oily scalp, so it's just whatever works for you. I really like the clarifying shampoo. So once I rinse that out, I switch to the Paul Mitchell's color conditioning conditioner and I let that sit in my hair for about two to three minutes I don't put it on my scalp because of the oily scalp factor so I just work that through and I let it sit I think this conditioner works really well I don't have any issues with it I try a lot of different conditioners just because I tend to color my hair very frequently and I don't want my hair to dry out as bad so I, I tend to stick with like color protecting conditioners and stuff like that. So once I rinse the conditioner out, I use, for this wash and go, I use the Jane Carter Solution, the Incredible Curls. I absolutely love this conditioner. It works really well. Um, it's I guess it's more of a styling cream. I first used it um, at Curltopia when I got my first Diva Cut. So if you're in Atlanta, Curltopia is a great salon. It's up in Smyrna. I recommend everyone to go, go see James. He's great. Or Stacy, she's great too. They've both given me a diva cut and I loved it each time. Um, I work this through my hair. I section it off in two sides. I've noticed that sometimes if I mix this with something else, like you'll see I use the Kinky Curly Curly Custard, absolute favorite. If I mix that with the Jen Carter, I tend to get these little little small tiny pieces I don't know why I guess the mixtures together kind of make it real chunky um, I try to work that in as much as I can it's it's hit or miss I've noticed that depending on which products I use together I get those little clumps so if I get them sometimes if I'm too frustrated I'll just rinse it out and just shampoo and condition my hair all over again and I'll switch to something else or I'll just deal with it because when it dries I don't see it anymore but sometimes it's still there so I guess it just depends on the product but this time when I used the incredible curls with the kinky curly curling custard I got the, the little balls and I tried to scrunch my hair as much as possible and when it dried they went away um, when I use when I work the product through my hair I try to keep it as wet as possible so I got my spray bottle with water spray that then I use the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Oh, I love this product. It is like my holy grail right now. So I use that product and it holds my curls perfectly. Like the definition is the best thing in the world. I absolutely, absolutely love this product. I used to use Eco Styler and then I noticed like I was getting really bad flakes and stuff. So I was like, let me just switch it up and try something else. Kinky Curly is perfect. This particular product is on the high end, so I think I spent like 17 bucks on this little jar. Totally worth it. I want the big one, but it's like 32 bucks. I'm like, okay, my pockets are kind of hurting, so I'm not going to get it just yet. And I'm trying to make this jar last, but it, I just love it so much. Like, I just want to keep using it every day, but I don't. So I work it through. You don't really need a lot either, but my hair is very thick and so I try to section my hair off into smaller sections and try to work it through as much as possible just because my hair is thick and I don't like when I get product on just the outsides of my hair and the, like the middle is still like fluffy and frizzy. 
So I repeat the process on both sides. Once my hair is thoroughly coated in product, I either air dry or blow dry. If I'm in a hurry, I'll blow dry. If I'm in a if I'm if I'm in a hurry, I will do either or. But usually I air dry. If my hair is not as damp, I will just scrunch it as much as possible to where it's not dripping and I'll leave the house. If I want it instantly dry, instantly fluffy, I go with my blow dryer. This time I use my blow dryer. Um, I don't have a diffuser. I don't like using diffusers. I've used it sometimes and it's like, okay, uh, I don't get it. So I just stick with low heat, high, it doesn't matter. I don't apply it directly to my scalp or my hair. So I mean, I know the heat is blowing on my hair, but I personally don't care. It's drying it. So let it dry. So I just work it all around, fluff it out, I do lots of shakes, I usually get dizzy. Lots of shakes, lots of fluffing, lots of curly hair to dry. My hair is very thick. Um, once I'm done, that is what it looks like. I do notice that if I air dry, I get less frizz. It Well, it takes longer to get frizzy. I get frizz, but it takes, it takes much longer to get frizzy so I'll get frizz by like I'll say the third day of my wash and go with the blow dryer it's like the next day I'll get frizz or like once I'm done and I guess that's just from the heat um, drying it too much but I mean it I don't really mind frizz too much as long as I don't look like a big puff ball and there you go big curly fluffy hair and even with this even with using the blow dryer it will still get fluffier and I didn't film it but like my hair looks really great you guys I promise like my hair is just so big so fluffy and it does that with either the air dry or the blow dry but eventually it's still kind of like tightly curled but like they'll fluff out and expand and I'll get that big poofy bush that you guys are used to seeing so that is my current curly hair routine thanks for watching subscribe love you guys bye y'all